Wicked Legend here. Welcome home, everyone. All right. On uh, video number two for our how to cruisers for beginners um, or how to for beginners. Uh, we're doing cruisers. <laughs> we're doing the Furutaka, the, the scout cruiser for the Japanese Imperial Navy. Um, we have some decent guns here. We're starting off with something a little bit bigger than usual. 203s at this tier is excellent. Again, we don't have an we don't really have armor. So what we want to do is kind of play this like the Omaha. We want to roam around in the back, max range. Uh, we have our concealment, which is way better at 10.7. Uh, we have our guns. We even have torpedoes. I mean, we did have torpedoes with the Omaha. Don't get me wrong, but uh, we were never in position to do anything with them. These are 10 kilometer ones. They're long lance torpedoes. They do a lot of damage, especially for this tier. Yes, they're not very fast. Yes, they're detected out of 1.5 kilometers. Trust me, these battleships that we're playing against are slow. Even if they see them, they're going to eat them. 10 kilometers, a lot of people miss, like, completely forget that this thing can do that. Uh, with our guns, we're going to support our battleships. Max range, no island camping with this thing. Roaming, open water, flank, if possible. Um, let's look at equipment quickly. We're going to upgrade absolutely everything. Uh, pretty much the same layout as the Omaha, uh, except for this time we're going to get our turrets to actually rotate a little bit faster because they're very slow anyway. They're slower actually than the Omaha at 22 seconds, so we're trying to speed it up with this. This is actually what's getting it at 22 seconds. We don't need anything else. And, uh, yeah, let's see the captain here. Where are we at? Another turret rotation, which is what makes it 22 seconds. Fire again. We want adrenaline in rush so the more we get hurt the more uh the faster we reload pretty much and then concealment this is first 10 points for me um most likely you're not going to play the ship long enough to get more points but if you do there's some guidelines there's some guidelines you can follow which isn't bad they're not bad guidelines all right let's put ourselves uh let's give ourselves the proper uh we do have a camo on but i do have a mod so it does look like it's just a uh, gray like an actual standard ship color I actually really enjoy the natural look, but you still need camo. Uh, just in case there's planes, we're going to go with that. November Echo, we're going to get our fire flags in, and we're going to get uh, our Juliet Charlie in. What else do we need? Do we need anything else? Uh, no. No, this is all we need. All right. Let's put in some time with this. Yeah, look at that. That's really nice. The whole rusty look. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's get into it. After this, we're doing the Russians. And then I think we're going to break up the British. We have the light cruiser and the heavy cruiser. A lot of people always hear heavy cruiser and they're thinking armor. It's just bigger guns. Uh, the guns is what makes the cruiser heavier or not. Light cruisers usually have a smaller caliber um, armament. Heavy cruisers have a larger caliber ar armament. And it comes down to then reload. Um... I mean, they do have a little bit more armor, don't get me wrong. It's just not what you think. All right, we are bottom tier. So we're going to have to deal with a lot of uh, ships that can actually outgun us. But because we're going to be max range, and this time we're starting max range, we're not going to push into no island. Uh, we're going to deal with them the way we know how to. We're going to go to HE. I don't know why we're AP. I guess we're killing a cruiser. 10 kilometer torps. Our range isn't that far, which is ideal, because not ideal. What am I saying? It's not ideal. If we could get maybe two more kilometers, it would be perfect, but this thing hits kind of hard. You'll see. We're going to get back to these islands over here, because we know they're going to push up. They always do. Nice horn. Let's go. If the Visby can go... Like here. Just a spot for us would be perfect. Corp angles are actually really good on this ship. Most Japanese ships are pretty much from here back. Because they're they're set up for kiting. This one you can actually go forward. Which a lot of people are kind of forget because they play a lot of high tier. So when they come back to low tier, they don't really realize that you can kind of torp forward almost. So as they do a drive-by thinking that you can't torp them, you torp them. All right, 
Let's get into a little position. We might kind of dip low a little bit here, just so we can get a couple early shots on. Awesome fires. These shells aren't as floaty as the Omaha, so you don't have to aim as far. It's not as tricky. Um, the Japanese cruisers have always been good. I think they're a little bit power crept, so there's just more powerful ships out there now. They need a little bit of a boost, a little bit of love for more gaming. Okay, so we are spotted. DD here. I doubt he's anywhere else. There he is. And we're going to open up. He's just straight sailing. There's his rudder. He doesn't want to turn or deviate. We're going to hit him again really easily. Yeah, he's just straight sailing. Don't do that, guys, if you're DDs. That also, and don't do this. Because the other one's not spotting more than this one. So you're literally using two destroyers to do one job. It's not, it's not a good good idea. Right, he's going to run into my shots. Paying attention. Algeri's trying to hit us. No chance. There's another fire. I'm going to keep going. Hawkins is a, the heavier British cruiser. I don't know why he's pushing in, but that's fine. New Mexico shooting HG at us. Ideal. Because then he's not going to crush us. He's getting ready. There's another fire. This is permanent. This guy's going home. We're going to ping him quickly. We're going to shoot him one more time. And we're going to turn targets. More HE. No problem. Thank you. I'll take HE any day. If it's AP though, we are in a lot of trouble. There's the Gneisen out. We're dark. So now we're going to just farm a little bit. Put some fires on him. He is top tier. Two tiers higher than us. So what we need to do is we need to chip at him the most. Make it easier for our ships to actually get rid of him. Yeah, they're all pushing this corner, which is perfect. They're going to come into our trap. We just need to know when to transition out sooner than later. And the fact that he's straight sailing makes it just so much easier. There's the DD. What's going to happen is here. This. As the DD comes out, he's going to have to deal with my torps, and then we're going to kill him. He thinks we... well, he, he doesn't know where we are. He kind of has an idea because he can see us shooting. So what we're going to do is actually get ready for him right now. I'm going to make sure we kill him. See, if you're spotted like this, don't go around a corner because you'll be spotted. Oh, the other one's here too. Hydra's up. Ooh, AP. There, yeah, there's the AP. There it is. And he had to stop for our torps. That's fine. We're going to turn away. Oh yeah, he's crushing us with that AP. We have no armor. Yeah, now we're angled though. Small mistakes here. Small mistakes. What was that? It was a 31. Mmm, yeah. We go dark? We went dark. Yeah, we gave him too much side for too long. Big mistake on our behalf. All right, but we are leaving. I know they're over here. We can't do anything about him anyway. Um, he's out of smoke. If you start shooting, though, there you go. Now he's back into our realm. Straight sailing. Just keep angling. He's still shooting AP. He's gonna kill us with this AP, though. This is where we're gonna have to play another match. But this is where. Um, the light cruiser is very apparent. A destroyer with AP is killing us. See the problem? Not a, not all destroyers can do that. Uh, this is German. He does have uh, a lot better penetration values with this AP. Fortunately for us, we have a team that's actually shooting. Does he have us here? He has us here. Yeah. We'll get back into another game uh, shortly. Yeah, he citadeled us, what, once, twice, and then almost one more time. Light cruiser. You can only imagine now what battleships can do or other cruisers. Um, 
And that's on me. I was full broadside him. Actually thinking it was he's gonna pop out. And we got tricked. It was the other DD that popped out. And then that cost us the whole game. Um, our team is doing really good here. They killed almost every destroyer. This is the only one left. This guy actually died. So ideally, the trade-off was myself for a destroyer. That paid off. You always want to trade that. The destroyers are very important. You want to get rid of them as soon as possible. If you're going to lose a cruiser to a destroyer, uh, if they're going to lose a destroyer and you're going to lose a cruiser, I'll take that any day. Um, because then if your destroyers actually maintain stealth, uh, their battleships are dead. Yeah, these torps are from the Gneisenau now and from the Zed. Well, I'll show you game two on um, hopefully how to play the fur talk a little bit better. <laughs> but listen, um, these these are the situations you're going to fall into as a new player. You're going to be putting yourself into positions where you're not, not going to understand why things are happening. Um, but this is a perfect example. The Zed has really good AP. I was broadside to him. He has a fast reload. I can't get out of that position fast enough. Not knowing he was going to show up. We know we saw him, right? We saw him over here with the Shino. They both pushed. We saw the Shino. We didn't see the Zed, though, right? So thinking that the Shino is going to come out. Nope. Zed came out. We were completely wrong. Because if the other DD actually came out, we wouldn't have been eating Citadels, right? But we got caught with the wrong ship coming out from around the island. And uh, we paid for it. And, and that's very common. Um, not even for, for new players, but for all players. We had no scouting here because our DD was here. So they went all the way around. We only spotted one DD. Our DD wasn't in position. Now, I'm not blaming our DD. The only thing to blame for him was he needed to be in position to spot for us. Right? But, again, we don't have to be so far forward. Ideally, we were, we were in the ideal spot here. So then if our DD was here... We can shoot at everyone, which is what we were doing, right? But because they were so aggressive, we had the wrong DD pop up around the island, and then we paid for it with just getting Citadel. We knew that these battleships were going to go around. We were going to be over here at this point, farming them, shooting torps, and as they're, as they're coming at us, they're going to be eating torps and getting fires on. Um, but we never got there, right? We fell into a trap where... The ideal situation happened for the enemy. A fast shooting AP gunboat um, destroyer faced off with a light cruiser full broadside. Uh, he played it correctly. He could have switched to HE and killed me a little bit earlier, but that, he, he stuck with AP. Uh, and then eventually he made his shots. And well, you saw, even as ang like I was angled, I still ate a thousand damage with that one AP round. Um, for Ataka. Yeah, like it says in the description, it's a scout cruiser. That being said, it's light armored. Uh, the game is over, though. We're about to win. Our team's in their cap. They're not even close to our cap. Uh, we're going to have to wait this out because I'm going to play the same ship again and, and actually show you a little bit better. Um, we, we were in an ideal position. It's just most players don't just charge that quickly with the uh, with destroyers. Um, so it caught me off guard. Uh, at that point, hopefully you have a team that's interested in winning. And you're going to get uh, team play out of them. This team is very focused on winning. They're sticking together. The DDs could be a little bit further apart. Someone's eating Torps here. Oh. Lana? You? Yep. Yeah. Saw them coming and you still ran into them. And you're also going to die here. Do their... Bigger guns. She, this mask got a dumb smoke and then hit the Atlanta. Um, the sure is just remember, guys, you can help out your team. Don't be selfish with your smoke. Sitting there just to daka. I mean, this guy's going to die, so then you can sit there to shoot at a DD that you're most likely not going to hit. Right? The Atlanta will kill him, but you, if you get lucky. Yeah, kind of silly. It's okay. Atlanta got away with it. No one's actually shooting him. We are going to cap. These guys think that they're going to cap or get into the cap and now cap us. It's not going to happen. Jazada is not in a good spot, though, because he's getting cross shot. 
But their DD is also dead. We have two, and we have quarter cap to go. All Atlanta has to do is stop shooting, so then they can have to stop decapping us. Yeah, they've shot the Ismail so many times that it doesn't even count for decapping. Yeah, so here's the thing about capping. Uh, you need to stop so then they don't shoot you. Because <laughs> as they're shooting you, it's stopping you from capping. So, ideally, just go dark. And then they can't shoot you anymore. <laughs> Notice how we're not capping anymore because they keep hitting us? Yeah. And this is how we could potentially lose, actually, because... Uh, because our guys are non-stop shooting. They're just resetting us. The non-stop reset. Yeah. Everyone's telling them to stop shooting. Nope. Nobody wants to listen. But they shot the Ismail enough times that it uh, it stops counting. Which is really nice that Wargaming did that. Or else you're just going to keep getting hit and keep getting reset. Kind of sucks. Cause, right? But if they did go dark, which they could have earlier, we would have won earlier and the Ismail would have still been alive. Not that it mattered. Um, what did we do? We didn't do anything. And yet we're still finished fourth. So that kind of explains to you guys what they had to go through. This is the other side. They really had no opposition. Most of the team was on our side. Um, we're going to do that again. Let's make sure we have the signals, though. We're going to do that again. This video will be a little bit longer, which is fine. I want to show you guys exactly what the ship can do. That wasn't really ideal for us. We got caught in a little bit of a... It wasn't an ambush, but... it Well, it kind of was an ambush, really. We didn't know that the one DD is going to pop up. We were aware of the other DD. Why did they stick together? No idea. No idea, but in a situation like that, uh, the torps are still there. They slowed them down from that push, uh, got them into smoke. We weren't close enough with Hydro. If we were even closer, we'd probably be even more dead. Um, we knew he was going to dump torps. We were aware of that. Yeah, just too broadside. Too broadside. We'll be, we'll be a little bit more prepared next time. Here we go. Let's say if we're bottom tier this time, or maybe we're going to be all fives. Which is ideal. Whatever ship you're playing at whatever tier, it's ideal to just play that tier. Hopefully we get lucky. We don't get lucky. Bottom tier again. <laughs> now, a lot of people hate the bottom tier, but here's the thing. For every tier you shoot that's higher than yours, you're going to get more XP. So, uh, when we're killing the Lazo, we're getting more XP than us killing the Omaha. He's two tiers higher. How much more? I don't remember the number, but uh, it's 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 good to shoot the higher tier ships to get more experience. Even if you don't kill them, just shooting them and getting damage on them helps you get more experience. Now, obviously, try to win, right? You're, not, you're gonna get the most experience out of winning. Losing will not get you a lot of experience. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna go help out the. Well, seeing as he's leaving that side, we're going to go that side. Probably going over here. Just fine. We're going to make sure that we pay attention to the middle. Because we can have our torps ready for them. Is he even paying attention? Nope. Seeing as his guns are looking there. But he shouldn't be going across the map to the other side. Uh, uh, please don't ever do that, guys. If you're going to spawn here... This is where you're focused. If you're going to spawn here, this is where you're focused. For him to go from here, this way. Yep, and everyone's saying, why are we leaving A? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I denied. Why?
you know, some people just don't want to help. I don't understand. And then the Exeter is going with him. Okay. Their DD is here. That's why I'm not spotted. But I will be spotted any second now. So, here's something that's going to really suck this game. We have a couple teammates that don't really want to play the game for their team. They want to just do their own thing. He's actually going to just wait there for the middle. Alright, that doesn't mean someone's actually going to show up, but sure. We're going to dump there thinking that the DD is going to come spot. Let's go wide. We're going to go wide and hopefully get some shots out. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks that these guys are just going to wait there. Really sucks because they're, they're just going to do nothing until something shows up. Yikes. You're going to get all kinds of players. Um, multiple people asked them to come help. They both said no. They're going to go down the middle. And here we go. Okay, we're into the flanking position. The DD finally spotted us. So the Exeter is going to go down the middle, which... <laughs> By yourself, down the middle in this map doesn't work. You need a div that's dedicated, that has ships that can actually do that. Uh, Exeter can't do that. It's not a ship that will deal with anything in the middle. It'll just get smashed. Now I saw the shot come in, and I turned, and I angled. It's funny how I actually bounced his shell, but I couldn't bounce that destroyer shell. There's the fire. He put it out. That's what we want. We want him to put it out, so then now, we can put another fire on him. Now, see how we have no spotting? Because our DD is just going to sit there. Letting the DD know that this isn't a way to play the game. It really sucks because it takes away from the rest of us trying to actually do something. Alright, back to the Furutaka. Ping him. He's in a worse position than we are because he's nose into our team. So him getting the leaving, he has to go broadside. I'm going to go broadside right now, but leave. They're shooting Ichi at me. Perfect. I'll take a little bit of chip damage. No problem. Turn my guns. Their battleships to actually do something here. There's their DD. But the fact that he's getting smoked up, I'm going dark too. Let's go. Exeter's half dead, as expected. They are being spotted. There's two battleships in front of them. He's asking the DD to smoke. <laughs> the DD that doesn't want to help the team is not going to help you out, bud. Alright, we don't want to shoot here because these guys are just going to shoot us and we can't shoot back at them yet. There we go. Now we can, though. We are detected. We need to start making our shots, though. We have very little damage. Only one fire. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a fire here on him. We knew he was going to fire at us. There's the fire. There we go. There we go. We're dodging. We're dodging. Oh, more shots coming in from across. We need to pay attention to that. We're just repositioning. That's all we can do. Tell him to get back. Get back. We're stuck. We're just stuck. So we have to hold this position. Hopefully we can kill this battleship. And get into a better position. There's a the target we want to kill. The Mayoko behind him. 
There's another fire. That that one was gonna stick. I'm gonna switch to AP quickly. So HE this shot. AP next one. He's dead. I don't know why you'd back up in open water. Say thank you because you're thankful for them killing him. Uh, Exeter did nothing but die. So why even do that? And the fer uh, Farragut is just sitting there. Unfortunately, I'm going to actually have to report this guy. Not that it does anything, but it really sucks when you're struggling and your team just does nothing on purpose. He knows we need his help. We've told him he said no multiple times. Uh, so that's very deliberate. Very deliberate. We're actually going to push in with this guy to cap faster. Yeah, the Exeter says, hey, Farragut, let's go cap A. Well, we, we we asked you to cap A, but I'm just telling them, no, just stay middle. There's no point in you coming over here. You're, you're not helping. Now we are spotted. I'm going to put Hydra up. Can't shoot us. They can only spot us. Okay. No, no, get back. Get back. Just hold the cap. That's all we need. That's all we need. There you go. Now, the reason why I'm telling our team um, in chat to just hold the caps is because we actually own three caps to their one. Uh, we have more points than them. We have the same amount of kills. All we need to do is wait for them to come at us to, so we can kill them. We literally don't have to go to them. They're bunched up. We're not. We're all over the place. And with uh, health like this, uh, we we don't need we don't need uh, to be pushing anything. Uh oh, man! Eh, you should have been backing up. I told you. Now you're going to be dealing and dealing with damage for no reason. One, two, damage you didn't need to take. Now our guy's telling the enemy team things. I don't think he understands what he's doing, but... Oh, wasn't paying attention. No. Dang. Could have gotten better shots at him. Alright, well, we know where he is. Gonna sit in smoke and cap. So hopefully we can hit him here with these torps. Let's see. Uh -oh. Not good. We can't get out of this. I didn't think he'd push. Luckily he can't shoot. Okay. We have no backup. No DD. Nothing. We're alone. This isn't the ideal game again. Come on, come on. You're dead on this next volley. If not, we're going to be very soon. We cannot avoid this guy. EP, he has broadside us. He overpinned us. We got lucky. We're using the island. Break. Cover. 
We need to get around this corner. Our team's pushing. I told them not to push. They pushed anyway. And this is us potentially losing the game. By the way, that Farragut that was going for B, uh, with their whole team there, ended up dying. And uh, did nothing for our team. Super selfish. You're going to get into a position where you're going you're gonna, to... You're gonna, you're gonna have a team that has very selfish players that have no experience in helping anything out. If you're a new player, please understand that it's a team game. It's always going to be a team game. And the only way to win is by playing as a team. Um, there's really no other way to win. You're, you're, you can't do it all yourself. You're never going to be able to. So... Um, the, the sooner you understand that, the sooner you're going to have your mindset ready for that. It's actually not going to bother. Okay. I think the DD's over here, though. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go as far as, away as possible from this battleship so I can actually have a chance to dodge shots. Yes, two tiers higher than me, I believe. Yeah, Mayoko, two tiers higher. We have an AFK in New York. Something we could have used. The Exeter we could have used without him dying. The Farragut we could have used without him just YOLOing into B. I mean, it was an ideal position. We could have we could have done a lot. We're still winning because we had so the caps for so long. But we're down on ships. We're down on destroyers. Soon we're going to be down on points. Oh, and we have one guy that's not even in the game. So we're technically down not just uh, two ships. We're down three ships. There's a DD spotting us. All we can do here is height. Nothing else, really. Our team's still pushing their team for whatever reason. We really don't need them to do that. But not much we can do. This is the hand that we've been dealt. And, uh, yeah. There you go. Exeter's dead. One at a time. We're pushing into them. The map awareness is so important in this game to understand that we have three caps and we have positions to hold them. But then tell the team, please hold. All they have to do is come to us. No. Everyone decided to ignore everything I said. I'm trying to help. And then they pushed. And they all died. And now we're going to lose. So, it is very frustrating to be in a match where nobody wants to do anything to help the team. Which then means that you're not going to win. Which then means that the blame game starts and people start blaming everyone for not doing certain things. But yet, they're the people that aren't doing anything. If everyone plays their role correctly, you're going to have the cap and you're going to win too. And you're going to get your kills. It's not like you won't. That's not a thing. Play as a team, win as a team. When you do your solo act, when you do your little side quests by yourself, you're just never going to win. Ever. It's not possible. Because you're not going to outgun two guys, even if they don't have experience. They're still going to get you. They're going to do damage to you. Over time, they're going to kill you. Unless you somehow ambush them, which isn't possible on an open water map like this. You're, you're just not winning. You're not winning that battle. Like even me, right now I'm about to die. This guy just needs to hit me with one shell. And all I can control is the distance. And hopefully he doesn't hit me. But see, over time, see the chip damage? It adds up. And adds up. And adds up. And then you're dead. And there's no one here to help me. The Congo's over there. He he's holding D, right? Now if we can kill him, we can potentially kill this DD, but not with 2800. Even if the DD, uh, even if we spot him at full health, the DD can just outgun us. We don't have the the reload for it. He shoot at us. He did shoot at us. There he is. Full health. He's about to kill us now. Just gotta get lucky here. Gotta get lucky. Oh, 
don't have the reload. Watch this. If we had the health, I wouldn't mind having this fight. Even with that guy there. But we don't have the health. A thousand health. This guy just has to shoot us. Even then, he leaves. Why? There. Well. Oh, we got dealt a, a win where we messed up. And then a loss where our team decided to not really be a team. It's really unfortunate when um, your team, two of the cruisers leave to go there. The other cruiser leaves to go to the middle and go get erased. Uh, the DD also leaves to go sit here and then attempts to cap all their teams there. Uh, even though everyone asked them not to and to help out, they all said no, which is deliberate, right? It's not like by accident. No, I didn't know. I thought I can go like this. No. By choice, they decided to leave the flank, which then cost us the game. If they didn't, we could have potentially won. And it, it, it comes down to that, where you can still know things, but your team will just do their own thing. And it's really unfortunate. But anyway, guys, I'll be back again with another video uh, in a little bit. Uh, the next one, I believe we're doing Russian cruisers. And um, hopefully we get a little bit luckier. Talk to you guys later. Bye now.